It's Thursday, August 15, 2024, with Pastor Chris teaching. Our theme for today's article is Sustained by the Spirit. Our opening scripture is taken from Romans 8, verse 11. It says, But if the Spirit of Him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, He that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by His Spirit that dwelleth in you. Hallelujah! By the Spirit, the Apostle Paul explains something profound in Ephesians 5, verse 30. Pastor begins, or he said, For we are members of His body, of His flesh, and of His bones. This statement goes beyond us being the members of a local church. By referring to us as members of Christ's body, of his flesh, and of his bones, it describes our inextricable oneness with him, our unity and intimacy with Christ himself. All glory to God. But did you notice that Paul didn't say, for we are members of his body, of his flesh, his bones, and of his blood? You need to understand that Christ's body doesn't have any blood anymore. Jesus gave his blood as a sacrificial offering during his crucifixion. His blood was entirely drained out when a Roman soldier pierced his side with a spear, causing blood and water to gush out, according to John 19 verse 34. Hallelujah! By the time Jesus was buried, there was no blood left in his body. Wow. However, on the third day, the Holy Spirit came upon him, quickened his dead body, and brought him back to life. Therefore, Jesus' resurrected body does not contain blood, but is sustained by the power of the Holy Spirit. And as he is, so are we in this world, as we find in 1 John 4 verse 17. Mali sopra kesa kendari mali shao la 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 la. Oh, thank you, Lord our God. Praise God. Before you were born again, Pastor goes on to say, your body lived by blood. But now that the Holy Spirit lives in you, even though there's blood in your body, your sustenance is by the Spirit. No wonder Paul asserts in Romans 8 verse 11, But if the Spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his Spirit that dwelleth in you. Salah. Often, you should declare, I don't live by blood, I live by the Holy Ghost. Therefore, cancer, blood disorders, or any form of infection can't thrive in my body because I am sustained by the Holy Ghost. Pastor concludes, Oh, dear Lord, thank you for your word to us today and for Pastor Chris. Wow. All right, saints, let's take a prayer now, meaning every word from the bottom of our hearts. Please say with me, dear Father, I thank you for the Holy Spirit who lives in me and gives life to every fiber of my being, keeping me in divine health. Every part of my body is vitalized and strengthened by your spirit from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet in Jesus name Amen All right for further study please read Romans 8 verse 11 then 1 Corinthians 6 19 to 20 and I'd like us to read from the New King James Version. It says, Or do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have from God, and you are not your own? For you were bought at a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. Hallelujah. Then we have Galatians 5 verse 25. It says, if we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Oh, saints, now that we are born again, 
we are replete with God. Think about that. The Holy Spirit lives in us.